Kafzadi Aleph Amid Aleph. We'll begin Sadi Amid Beis, the new parak, the mission at the bottom of the Amid. Hamatzni Elazar Aladugma Larafua. If a person stores away, he stores away seeds that are going to be used for either for planting or he's a merchant and he wants to use it for samples or for Rafua for medicinal purposes. Voitzia Bishabas. And then he took it out on Shabbos. He carried out on Shabbos. Chai Becholshu. He's high with the kol shu. Since he stored it away, he gave it a particular chashivas. Now, even though normally we have different shiurim for different items. And if it's seeds that are going to be planted, we say <coughs> that he the shear is either five seeds, two seeds, or, or less than a groigris. And food items are normally a groigris. Liquids are revias. But here, if he's matznia, he gave it a chashivas. So we say that even less than the normal shear. The whole I mean but other people would only be chayv according to the normal shear. The other people who were not matzni yet, they didn't give any special chashivas, they're only chayv if it's the normal shear. Now, if this person who was matzni, and now he now took it out, he brought it back in, and he was not matzni it any further, so he didn't store it away. He didn't now give it any special chashivas. So that was mevatel. That nega- negates the original hatsno, uh, that he was match of the item. That negates that. And now he's like anybody else, and he's only chayev, according if he takes out, according to the prescribed shear. The one is asking, why does it have to say Hamatzni, he stored it away? Even if he didn't, the fact that now he is carrying it now for the purpose of planting or for a sample or a fua, so he's mocks of it. So what difference does it make if he stored it away or didn't store it away? The point is, is that if he gives it a special chashivus, he's high even if it's less than a shear. Well, even if he didn't store it away, the fact that now he's taking it out for this purpose, he's now giving it that chashivas. So that should be a mechayivim with the kol shahu, because in any event, he's now he's now being machshivit. Why does he have to, why is it dafk if he stored it away previously? If he took something out with a specific intent, now he's being machshivit, he would be chayv of the kol shu, and he's chayv of the kol shu, even if he wasn't matzniya. But we're talking in a case here where there was no specific intent at the time that he was matzni. So Amar Abay, Hachamai, Eskim, Gaon, Shehetzniya, Veshokach, Lama, Hetzniya. He started it away. He started away for his era, Dugma, Rafua, but then he forgot. Vashta, Kamaf, Vashtama. And now he's taken out without any particular intent. He just took it out without being machshavit for a specific purpose. So Mount is saying Mabtula Bhatla Mahshafta. So you might think, well that's Mavatl his Mahshava now that he's taking out stump without any specific intent. So you might think that the original purpose that he had for being Matsani is bottle, and there's no special Hashivas given to the item. Kamash Malan, Kolo Isal, Das Rishina Hu Isa. Kamash Malan that we say that Kolo Isa, Das Rishina Hu Isa. That even though he forgot why he stored it away, nevertheless, when he takes it out stam, it is based on the original intent. So he was Matsnia, he gave it that Hashivas. Now, even if he takes it out stam, he's still Chayva the Cholshu because we say his action is based on the original intent. So, Rabbi Yudah said, name is Shmuel, that Rameh is Chayev, even if it's only one seed, if he took it out specifically for planting, it's Chayev, even if it's a Chita Achas. In fact, the more Pshita, Kol Shutanam, of course, it says Kol Shutanam, Kol Shutanam, it's any small amount, of, so of course he's Chayev with one, with one Zera. Mar says, no. Mound the same a kol shu la It's not pshita because you might have thought that the kol shu just means that it's less than a gregor. Normally, for food items, the shear is a gregor, it's a dried fig. You might think all it means to say is it's less than that. But you might say that it must be at least a kazayas. It can be less than a gregor. But it can't be literally a kol shu. It would have to be a kazayas. Kazayas is normally a shear to be over 
other items we say there's a shear for Achilles Kazayas. So you might think that the shear is a Kazayas Kamash Malan, the Kamash Malan, that no, it's even a Chita Achas. The, many of the uh, unfortunate have asked the question that how can you possibly think that it's a Kazayas? Well, we say that the previous uh, parak we learned <coughs> that there are Zirani Gina, five seeds, Zara Delu and Kishum, two seeds, etc. But we saw clearly in the previous parak that it's less than a Kazayas. Pene Yeshua says is that those small amounts that we mentioned previously those are for those types of items where the seeds are more chashev. But over here, you might have thought that by achita, specifically by wheat, which is not mentioned previously in the previous parak, we didn't mention chita. We mentioned zeregina, zerdeluim, kishuin. We didn't mention chita. You might think that by chita, you would need a kazais of chita. So kamash mulan, that if he's much of it, it's even chita achas. Masi flor of Yisra, brother of Yehuda, Elameata. Well, now that you're telling me that the person's subjective, Machshava, what he values, gives importance to the Chayfas and determines the shear. So the, we determine the shear of Haitzah based on a person's Machshava. Elameata, Chishav, Lohaitze, called Besa. If a person only intends to take out all the items in his house, his intent is to gather up all the items and take it at one time. Are you going to tell me that he's not going to be chayev unless he takes everything out? If he doesn't take everything out, he's not going to be chayev? It's clearly something that is so chashev, something that has such chashev. You're going to tell me that if he takes out uh, furniture, if he takes out a table or chairs, if he takes out all kinds of oichlem, of all kinds of food items, he's not going to be chayev? because his intent originally was to take them all out. They're clearly, objectively, very, very chashu. More answers, also bottle dietates a colonum. Over there, it's bottle dietates a colonum. Over there, clearly, objectively, uh, each of these items would be chashu. So if this person has intent only to take them all out, we say bottle dietates a colonum. His makshava is not taken into account is not valid because it's we it, we say that it has no relevance and not, has no meaning it's bottle data anybody everybody would consider each individual item to be hoshev anybody would consider less than all of the items in the house to be hoshev so his makshav is meaningless it's treated like something which is uh, something which is uh, just foolish and has no meaning or relevance now as Tysus explains when we say in our Mishnah that Matsniya Lazeral Dugmal Rafua, that if a person he's Matsniya, he's Mach Ma he's Mach of these items, the items for these purposes, he gives it Hashivas. Now even though it's not the norm, that normally people don't use it for this purpose. And therefore the shiur is larger. The shiur would be whatever it is, five seeds or more than than, than or two seeds, more than one, or if it would be in the case of Oyechlem, it would be a Gregorius. Even so, even though this person, what his machshav, his intent is not the norm, but it's not unreasonable. It's not something that nobody would do. A minority of people do it. So therefore, he can give it chashivas. But in the case of the house, in the case of the house, that nobody would say there's only chashivas if he takes all the items in the house. If each individual item has chashivas, then they would be marks of each item on its own. So therefore, in this particular case, we would say bottle daita eats a kol item. Therefore, it has to be dafk in such a case. So in, in a similar vein, the Mishnah Milik wants to say the, that when we say in this case, Matsin Lazara Dugum Rafua, that's only because there are people, even though it's a minority, but there are people that use the seeds for this purpose. But let's say for Oichlem, when we say that a person would be machshiv less than a Gregor's of Oichlem, we, we say that over there, since people are not machshiv it, if a person, he himself, gives special chashivas to something that nobody is machshiv, that people generally are not machshev, we would not be mechayevim. 
we would not be mechaivim in such a case. It's only in this type of a case over here where there are people who do use the seeds for zera, dogma, or rufua, even though it's not the common use, even though it's not the majority of people, even though it's a minority, but it is used for that purpose. Therefore, he can give it his chashivas. But something, any item, which we say that is not used, even it's, it's not uh, normally done, it's a rare, rare case, uh, then we would say bottle daita, and he would not be high either. The Farshim asked the question over here, well, what does this mean over here? Well, the Morris says that if a person has matzniya and he has machshava, rather, to be moitzik kol beisa, so are you going to say, the Morris Kashis, are you going to say that are you going to say that he's only high if he takes everything out? Well, before you ask the question, well, what does that mean? I mean, obviously, if he took out something that was less than all of the items in the house, well, now he's giving him uh, chashivas to it. What, what's the Gemara's question? The Gemara says, if Chishev, if he has machshava only to take all the items in his house, are you going to tell me that he's only chayv if he takes them all out? Well, by the fact that he's taking less than all of the items in the house and you're taking them out at this point in time right now, why isn't that mevatal, the original machshava? And now he's giving chashivas to what he's taking out right now. So one of the answers that Ron gives an answer, he says that, Perhaps uh, it could be talking in a case where a person had a machshava to take out all the contents of the house. And he put things in a bundle. And he assumed that he had everything in the house. But in fact, he didn't. So the fact that he's taking it out right now does not negate his original machshava. He was just under the uh, assumption that he is taking everything out of the house. So that was Gemara's kasha. Are you going to say in such a case that since he had machshava to take only all of the contents in the house, and if he took out this bundle, assuming that it was all the contents in the house, when in fact it's not, are you going to tell me that he's Palter? What answer is bottle daita? So the person, his matzniya, his chayav, if it's b'cholshu. But other people who are not matzniya, they're only chayav in the prescribed shiur. Artana is not following the sheet of Shimon Alaza, the Sanya Klaulama Rishim Bin Alaza called Shaina Kosher Lahatsniya. He says that anything which is not Kosher Lahatsniya is something which is that doesn't really have this Khashivas. And people generally do not store away this type of an item. And a particular person, now he was machshavit and he stored it away, and he was machshavit to store it away. And then someone else who was not the matzniya, someone else who was not the matzniya, he took and carried out this item. The person who took it out, he is chayev with the machshava of the matzniya. That he took it out, he is chayev with the machshav, even though he himself wasn't matzniya. And if he took it out, stam. So according to our Mishnah, according to our Mishnah, the Tan of our Mishnah is that he would be this person, if it's less than the prescribed shear, he would be potter. But according to Shimon Lozzi, he says the fact that one person is matzniya, he gives that item chashivas for everybody. So even someone else took it out without a particular machshav, he would also be chayev even if it's less than the shear. Let's say a person took out a gregorus with the intent of eating. So the shear for Achila is a gregorus. And then he changed his mind and he wanted to use it for planting. Or if alternatively, he, he, the original intent was to take it out for planting. And then he changed his mind and he now wants to use it for Achila. He's Chayev. Of course he's Chayev. In any event, there's always a Shear. If he took it out for Achila and the Shear was a Gregorius, that's a Shear to be Chayev for itself, for Achila. And then he changed his mind for planting. He still has a, a shear. Or if he originally took it out to plant, 
then he has a shear, he's chayv, he's, he, if he held uh, there was a grigoris, he certainly would be chayv, it's choshev. And then if he changed his mind, lachil, there's still a shear. So what's the shayla? The more answers, mount is him, you might think, being an akira v'anokha b'chara machshava, you might think, since the process of what saw is akira, lifting it up, transporting it and putting it down, you might think, to be chayv, he has to have the one intent for the entire process of the ha'isa. Vahaleka, and in this case, he doesn't because he has a different intent. In the middle, he switches his intent, kemash molam. Vahirava, a similar type of shayla. Ha'itzi chatzi gregus. In this case, it's a half a gregus. Lizriya, so, and he's mighty for Lizriya. Now, that is a shear that he would be high for planting. Vitavcha, now it got bloated, it water, it came into contact with water, it expanded. and now he changes his mind and he wants to use it for eating. But and now it is the size of a gregorus. It, it expanded in this in size, and now it is a gregorus. And now he wants to achila, it is a size for achila right now. But Mao, what's it do? If you say in the previous case that he's chayv to zil hachi kishurim, zil hachi kishurim, because in any event, both at the beginning and at the end, there's a shiur that you be he be chayv for haitzah. But hacha, but in this case came to be in the afki. But in this case, at the time that he picked it up and took it out, at that point it was only a chazig regress. So there was no shiur at that time. For Achila did not have the minimum shear for Achila. So, came to be in the Dafk Loya of Beishir Achila. Loy Mechayev, should we say, that is not Chayev. Now, even though his intent at the beginning was for Zriya, and he would be Chayev for Zriya, but Saif Kol Saif at the end, his intent was for Achila. And at the beginning, it was not the size for Achila. It was only a Chatsi Gregor. It only became a Gregor at the end. So do we say he's not chayev? I dim akev and dilu ishtek v'loy chosh v'la mechayev v'machshava d'zriya. Or perhaps we should say that if he had not changed his intent, if he just was quiet, he would be chayev for the original intent for because it was for zriya hashdanam mechayev. Here also he should be chayev. V'im tim salam. Perhaps you'll say akev and dilu ishtek v'loy chosh v'la mechayev v'machshava d'zriya hashdanam mechayev. Perhaps you'll say that since if he did not say or do anything or have another intent, he would have been chayv based on the original machshava, which was for Zriya. So he'd be chayv. I'll ask you another question, another scenario. If he threw and took out the beginning, it was a groigerous, and his intent was a chila, so it was a groigerous with the size of a chila, would be chayv and then it shriveled up. Now it's less than a groigerous from the color of Zriya, but now he changes his intent and he wants to plant it. Ma, what's the din over here? Over here, if he had not actively changed his intent, he would not be chayv because his original intent was for achila. And over here, it's now not the size for achila. So if he had not changed his intent, he would be potter because by the time he put it down, it was less than the shear for achila. He would not be so therefore he's not chayev. Or do you say no, it's irrelevant. At the beginning he intended to take it out, for Achila was the size of the Shir Achila. When he put it down, he intended for Zriya, it's the size of Zriya. The fact that there's a different Makshava at the beginning and at the end is irrelevant. At the for the Makshava, for his intent, at the time that he did the Akira, he would have been high for that. For his Intent at the time that he put it down, it's a shear that he would be mechayev for the zriya, so he's chayev. Ve'im tim salam rabos ha'ash does lean on, and if you're going to say that we view it at the moment that it's now, at the time that he does the action, o mechayev, and he would be mechayev, ha'yitzi kegregres l'achila. Let's say he was ma'yitzi kegregres with the intent for achila. And it now, so that is the size for Achila. Vitzamka, now it shriveled up in the process of carrying it out, it shriveled up. But then before he put it down, it bloated, it swelled up, and it bloated. Now it is the size of a greater as mouth. What's it in this case? Do we say there's Dichul in Shabbos? That in, since, do we say in the middle, in part of the process of carrying it out, it was a Dichul, it was 
pushed away. It would it would not be uh, high at, at, at one point in time. At one point in time, in the process of carrying it out, it was nidcha from a chiyuv. It did not have the shear of a chiyuv, so at that moment, there would not have been a chiyuv of Aitzah. So we say, and therefore, even though when he put it down, it swelled up again, and it is a shear, but there is one point in time that if he had put it down at that point, he would not be chayv, do we say, it's therefore dich, and he's not chayv, even though later on it is a larger size, or do we say, it doesn't matter what happens in the middle, do we say, therefore, that at the beginning when he picked it up, it was a shear, he put it down, it was a shear, what happens in the middle is of no consequence, or do we say, no, that the ish dich, it's one act of what saw, and if at one point in the act of I saw there would not have been a chiyuv, he's no longer a chayv. Let's take him. Boy, me Rav Rav Nachman. The following question: So, kezayis truma lebayis tome mau. If he threw a kezayis of truma into a house which is tome, what is it in? Frankly, more lemai. What's what's the relevance of this question? Elenian Shabbos, if the question is a Shabbistic question, is he chayev for throwing, if it's from a Rishusa Rabbim into the Rishusa Yochid, well, why, what's the child of a Kazai? It's Gregorius being it. The shear for, for throwing, for Oitzo or Achnose, is a Gregorius, not a Kazai. An Elenian Tuma, and if the question is the Gabe Tuma, that will it now be Tome in order to be Matame something else, the size of an Eichel that's required in order to say that it's tome and that can be metama something else is the size of an egg of a bayet. So elin and tumas tuma kebeya oichlin bina. We need the size of a bea of oichlin. So what's your child over here by kezayas? Then he threw a kezayas. More answers loyalum in your shabbos. The question is in your shabbos. We're going to kapachas me kebeya oichlin. It's a shabbos to kezayla and the Case is talking where there's less than a bay of Eichlin in the house. And now by throwing this into the house, now it now makes up the shear of a bay. It now has a shear of a bay. And now it now can be metama other items. So mine. Do we say that now since this Kezayas, now is Mitzaraf Linyan Tuma, so now it now combines with the rest of the of the Truma in the house, and now it makes up a Beya, so it has a special Hashivas because now it gives Hashivas to the other Eichlem, which now can be Metama something else, Mechaim Nam Shamas. So do we say perhaps that even though Lagabe Shamas it's not the shear of what's considered a chashev for saw, but since this now gives chashivas, it gives chashivas for the lagabe tuma, and that confers chashivas on it for Shabbos as well. Or in Dilma we say no, calling your Shabbos is being it. Or you say no, that as far as Shabbos is concerned, we must have a minimum of a gregress. If you don't have a gregress, then he's potter. So we'll analyze this question further and see how the more resolves it on the next almond.